on the Mitch Rich Show. Issues are highlighted. Dr. Michelle E is changing lives, yeah. On the Mitch Rich Show. Hi, and welcome to the Mitchell Show. I am Dr. Michelle Lee, your host for today. In today's episode, we will be talking about surviving in times of crisis, how to take care of your emotional health, finances, and where to find help. The current crisis, which is the pandemic, has rapidly affected our day-to-day -day lives and has the potential to have far-reaching consequences. We all, in some way, have been affected. It is natural to experience increased stress, anxiety, as well as other overwhelming strong emotions. Fear is one of those natural reactions. What do you do? Do you forget everything and run? Or face everything and rise? Our natural instincts in times of crisis is to get in the fight or flight mode. However, what if this response cannot work? How do you regain control and take action? In the words of Boris Yeltsin, and I quote, I understand that it's hard for everyone, but one cannot give in to emotions. We'll have to draw lessons from the current crisis, and now we'll have to work on overcoming it. Thank you. My goal today is to enlighten you on ways to not only survive in times of crisis, but how to thrive and regain your peace of mind. Our first guest today will be Gladys Diaz, a relationship expert. Are you a kind, caring, and committed person? If you are, here at Linden Nursing Services, we're seeking home health aides, CNAs, LPNs, and RNs. Come and join our team of professional caregivers today. Not only are we the best in the business, but we deliver services of the highest quality. Give us a call today. We are waiting to hear from you. 561-434-5005 or visit us on our web at lindennursing.com. Our guest today will be Gladys Diaz, who is a set one of a set of twins who are called the Love Twins. Uh, what they do is, um, Gladys actually is a transformational dating and relationship coach and the co-founder of Hearts Desire International. That is good to have you today. Um, as it is, we're talking about surviving economically, financially, and also, you know, emotionally in times of crisis. Uh, what's your thought on that today, Gladys? It's no secret that we're living through truly unprecedented times. I know people are saying that. Um, I don't think many of us had the background knowledge for how to live through a pandemic, through the economic crisis and the emotional crisis that it's causing. And so my thoughts are, uh, my very first thing is helping people to manage their thoughts because there are things happening. And when we can manage our thoughts, we also feel empowered to make a change. When we allow the circumstances to dictate how we feel, what we think, and what we believe is possible, that's when we start to feel helplessness, hopelessness, and we're seeing, you know, unfortunately, a study just came out yesterday that people are um, experiencing more depression and anxiety than ever before. And so managing their thoughts, it's, you know, it's really, as I said in my opening, um, you know, about the anxiety, you know, people are just anxious, whether it be fear of what's happening in their lives, fear of um, just their finances. But as you would think, um, you know, the, the, the thought process is so important at this time. So what is it that would you, that you would say to someone who walks into your office and, you know, and, and, and they're really anxious about the issues that they're being faced now with their relationship, whether it be in marriage or just being that, you know, other person in a relationship? Yeah, it was just right before this call, I was just coaching somebody. And the analogy that I used, see, we can only ever worry in the future. Worry doesn't exist in the present moment. We're worrying about something that we think is going to happen or isn't going to happen. So the analogy that I gave her, and if everybody wants to do this, is imagine that, you're, that these two hands are a piece of Velcro. So you've got those two pieces of Velcro and they're stuck together. One of the easiest ways to bring yourself into a moment of power, it doesn't mean that the situation or circumstance goes away, Michelle, but this is how you can actually manage your thoughts. I told her, imagine that these are, this is 
two pieces of Velcro. And one piece is what's actually happening. And the other piece is what I'm afraid of or what I'm making it mean. And if you can, and you can almost even hear the, you know, as you separate the two things, this is what's uh. actually happening. And this is what I'm afraid of or what I'm making this mean. In the space between, I have a moment to choose how I'm going to react. So I can react in panic and worry and desperation, or I can say, what are my choices? What are the choices that I have? Who are the people that I can reach out to for support? What haven't I done yet that I might be able to do? But as long as I have them collapsed, I'm constantly reacting to what's happening. Is I'm, something happens, I'm making it mean something. And this is what honestly causes anxiety, worry, and desperation. So I know it takes me longer to explain it than it actually does to say, okay, here's what's actually factually happening. And here's what I made it mean. In this space, I can choose. And that's where we can gain our power. And as you, as you say, power in our last minute that we have before we close, um, the support system, that is important. And that also helps to propel you to that power place that you need to be. Who are the support system that they should reach out to as we close, Gladys? Reach out to the people in your life. Everybody's trying to lone wolf it in a time of isolation. Reach out to the people who are already there. And if you're feeling very lonely, reach out to hotlines. They'll put you in touch with somebody. Your places of worship, your family, your friends, there are people around you. Isolation is an illusion. It's an illusion. Connection has nothing to do with proximity. It's you reaching out and allowing another person to be there for you. How can we contact you, Gladys, after this, if someone really needs to reach out to you? The very best way to reach me is through our website. Go to heartsdesireintl.com, heartsdesireinternational.com. And in the bottom, there's a box that'll pop up that says ready for love. And then you can either schedule an appointment or you can send a message and we'll make sure that we reach out to you. Ready for love. Thank you so much, Gladys. Good to have you on The Matrix Show today. I'm Dr. Michelle. Thank you so much. On The Matrix Show. Welcome to Top Physical Therapy. Our patient's safety is a top priority. So we abide by the procedures of the pandemic. Here we provide occupational physical therapy and any trauma you face due to car accidents or any other physical issues, come to Top Physical Therapy to receive treatment that is long overdue. We're located at 6730 North University Drive, Tamarack, Florida, 33321, southeast corner of University and McNabb. Call today at 954-722-2212 to schedule your appointment. We've got you covered. Well, our next guest today is uh, none other than Ken Sinclair, who is my CP, and I'm proud to say that. Uh, Ken, whose primary goal is to provide audits, review, bookkeeping, tax, and consulting services, is your trusted advisor who gives insightful advice, helping you to make informed decisions, especially for small commercial businesses, individuals, or non-profit agencies. So, so good to have you, Ken. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, you know, our topic today is uh, surviving emotionally and financially in times of crisis. In these times, what are the advices that you do give to your businesses or your individuals that you manage? Well, the first advice I would want to give is to um, really split it and think of a way to conquer um, in, term, in this environment, um, both physically and mentally. So uh, my advice would be to, um, to, to pray, meditate, and exercise so that both your mind and body would be able to um, really sustain all of these outside forces um, in the environment um, related to COVID and just the changes within society at this time. And um, with those, um, you really could um, affect um, overall, it could affect your ability to 
um, really cope with the stressors of this daily life. And really all of that would translate from, you know, from the individual, um, from, your, from your mental and physical change to um, being able to then conquer um, your financial challenges. Financial challenges. Um, what is it that you're seeing happening? Is it a lack of um, finances to get them to pay employees for their overheads? You know, what are some of the challenges that you're seeing now as they, uh, they consult you? The challenges are more toward uncertainty, um, really the unknown, not knowing when the external environments, whether it is, whether it's something like payroll to be able to pay employees, um, whether it's whether you're going to have um, that customer pay their next bill or they're going to ask for an extension. Um, those are the challenges that customer, my clients are seeing now. And um, again, the way that you deal with that is you have to sort of, um, once you deal with that mental and physical part, um, another, um, the next step would be to really um, to prepare goals in order to conquer those. Um, my suggestion would be to write those goals down um, and then start by trying to conquer, I call it the low hanging fruit. Um, the easiest um, thing that you could conquer first and then take it step by step so that you could conquer the larger goals. The ones that really, the ones that you, not that you're trying to avoid, but the ones that you know um, have the most uncertainty attached to it. As we close, what are some of the places that you would send um, you, you, you would advise them to go, um, go to the traditional banks or, um, you know, you have some, some, some banks that are, that are just popping up now, um, you know, where, where, where can they go to access financing at this time as we close? Well, when it comes to financing, um, my suggestion always would be, um, lo more local credit unions. Um, they often have more of a, um, air toward, um, the individual, um, the larger banks, yes, they are available at this time. However, they do have more system based whether um, where it's based on computer systems and algorithms that make initial decisions. And then even after those decisions are made, sometimes the banks themselves can't make a change because it's um, structured from a national um, decision-making process compared to your local banks where um, you could go in, you could um, speak with the local banker, the branch manager, and um, be able to, um, be able to um, have them assist you with your business decisions. In addition to that, um, like you mentioned, there are some new banks that are popping up um, that are, um, they might not be in your city or your county, um, but they are available through the internet where um, you're able to then find additional financing. Some of those are banks like Bluevine um, and, um, and Lendio, um, where um, businesses could receive um, items like lines of credit, loans, and additional um, working capital sources. Well, thank you so much, Ken, for having you, um, for being on the Mitrich show today. And I'm excited about what is going to happen, um, you know, when they call you. Uh, just give us your contact details and where they can find you um, if they really need to do some consult with you. Thank you, Ken. Yes. yes. Um, my phone number is 954-669-9600. Um, my website um, is kmsfinancialcpa.com. Again, that is kmsfinancialcpa.com. Thank you, Ken. And I'm, need I tell them that you got my 501c3 approved within two months. Thank you, Ken. Have a blessed one. It was good to have you on today. On the Mitch Red Show. Welcome back to the Mitri Show. I am Dr. Michelle E. And we have with us today the beautiful Ms. Joma McLeod. And Joma is the proud CEO for the credit group who has dominated. When I say dominated, I mean dominated the credit repair industry for over 20 years. I know she doesn't look it, but anyways. She's well sought after and has now taking our business on credit and our financial advice business internationally. She's well sought after, as I said, and we're gonna find out what's happening now 
in this time of crisis when everybody's running around not sure what to do where to go where their credit is concerned joma welcome and good to have you on the matrix show how are you doing today i'm doing wonderful michelle thank you so much for having me um so what what are you what, what are the, the things that you're seeing now on credit repair uh with the persons that are asking you for your advice well, a lot of persons are asking me uh, about the late payments that are being reported um, on their credit file. Collection agencies are fighting even harder, uh, duplicating information that's being reported to the bureaus. They're just really going after because they know that consumers are looking to purchase their home. They're trying to get out of their debt uh, that they currently have right now. So they're seeking answers on what they should do and my advice to them is obtain settlements if you need to fight the debt if you have to um especially if, if it's an old debt that's past statute of limitation on the credit report you basically sometimes have to do what's best for your family because maybe those debts that are owed but you have your light bill to pay you have your mortgage to pay you have to have food in your home and the lights to continue to run. Um, so at the end of the day, it's what's best for you and making a financial decision um, for your family at this time. Keep your money in your pocket. Uh, you know, um, I know that you know, a lot of the credit companies, um, the credit card companies were giving forbearance and um, um, months that they didn't have to pay. What really happens is you know, where interest is concerned and all of that, um, the reporting part of it? Well, it's, it's a good and bad with the reporting and the forbearance that the, the credit card companies as well as the mortgage companies are issuing. I recently had a client because when you don't report that information each month as it's supposed to, the credit stops. You don't gain a credit score. Your balances doesn't changes. And if you, a lot of the lenders that we do work with, for those clients that the mortgage has not been reported, it's causing a great effect on them trying to refinance their home because they need to show that they have been paying so for folks that are not doing anything, they're not looking to refinance their home, uh, the forbearances, the forgiveness, all of that is great for their situation. But if they're not, if they're looking to purchase, refinance, paying the credit cards is very important because you need to see your, the debt to income ratio. You need to say, see your payment history. And if you haven't paid for the last three months, it will greatly impact your credit score even reduce the scores that you already fought, fought so hard for. Um, so, so many things are happening in, in this time um, with the credit card companies as well as the lenders and moving forward for your credit scores to increase. Wow, that's so good. I, you know, I, I wasn't even aware of that being a mortgage professional myself that, you know, because I guess what you're also saying is that reporting it also helps to increase your score. As we close, Joan, we have one more minute. What would you say to a prospective person that's going to enter your office consulting? You know, what would you say to them that's going through their credit issues? Be ready for a change to happen with your credit file. Um, you know, in a nutshell, they say, cut your nose off the spite your face. And when I say to get ready, sometimes there are collection accounts that you just got to bite the bullet and say, you know what, for my life to move forward, for me to come financially free, for me to obtain a mortgage, purchase a vehicle at a great interest rate. And I tell folks all the time, anyone can purchase anything that they want. But at the end of the day, it's about the interest rate that you're going to pay. So do you prefer to pay for something three times over as opposed to saving and putting that money away? Because like our grandmother said, you know, have a little nest, nest egg for the rainy day. That's what you have to put in perspective with your money. Uh, your money is power. Your signature is power to you. And you have to make the right decision when you're putting the pen to the paper. And that's stay, uh, stay keen to that interest rate. Don't let someone tell you, oh, you can afford this or what payments that you like to have. 
ask them, what is my interest rate? And that's what we teach our clients here at the credit group, um, when it, not only in fixing their credit, but also educating them on their buying power. Thank you so much, Joe. It was so good to have you on the Mitri Show today. And we'll definitely follow up with you later on. Thank you again. Have a blessed one. On the Mitri Show. But welcome, Sandra. It's good to have you on the Mitch Rich Show today. Um, you know, Sandra is the founder and executive director of Henry Atkins Sports Group, who serves the parents of the National Collegiate Athletic Association, which is the NCAAA. And, of course, those football players are draft eligible, and she assists them in navigating the NFL pre-draft process and we know that can be a little bit tedious that can be you know a lot of anxieties there so tell us a little bit more about what it is that you do um, in this time where there's so much crisis happening yes there's so much going on Michelle so I try to work closely with the moms I work with a lot of single moms uh, as you know a lot of the players uh, unfortunately are from single parent households and so I work with the moms to make sure their mindset around their finances are intact. A lot of times when you have a son that's projected to be drafted, you tend to want to spend money before you actually receive it. I tell them, don't go take it out in the second mortgages. Don't, if you can't fly to a game. And unfortunately, uh, you know, or unfortunately during COVID, a lot of the teams aren't having fans. So that kind of took away that expense of mothers trying to get to a game. Imagine I lived in Florida and my son played at the University of Georgia, which was in Athens. And so it was a 10 hour drive or a plane ride to Atlanta and then a drive over to Athens. So it can be quite costly. So I try to help the moms to keep their finances in order. Don't, don't rob Peter to pay Paul. Your son have not been drafted yet. And let's set up the things in place now that will help them when they're drafted to be able to manage their money wisely. So what are the different areas that you advise them on? Because this is something that's not really spoken about much. And, and, and of course, we've heard the horror stories of players who, after they've been drafted, then they get injured. What's next? So what are the different areas that you advise them on? Yes, a lot of the areas that we do, the first thing is agent selection, which your agent is going to be one of the most important persons that you will work with. They negotiate your NFL contract, how much you're going to make, how, for how long, you know, the contract is going to be. So the agent selection, that person is very important. So we go over questions to ask, you know, check in references. And then the next important person you need to have is your financial management team. And I always tell them it's a team, it's not one person. And we don't sign power of attorney over to anyone. A lot of times we have uh, financial advisors that want these guys to sign a power of attorney, want to pay bills for them. You know, so I try to stress to them how important, how easy it is to pay a bill now. You just go online and it's one click. You can set it up automatically. So there's no need to sign over a power of attorney to anyone. We also deal with insurance uh, professionals. You're going to need a lot of insurance. A lot of people are going to be looking to sue you. You can have a fender bender. And the next thing you know, you're trying to pay someone for the rest of their lives because they claim they have a back injury. So we, we help them get the right insurance professionals in place. And the biggest one is the tax professional. We need a tax strategist, not just a preparer. You need someone to strategize how to keep more of your money because every state that these guys play in, every city that you see that they go in that's a taxable city or taxable state, they pay taxes to that city or state. So they, a, a player may have 12 tax return that they're doing in April. So they have to make sure they have a qualified person to do that. Oh, wow. That's so important. And as I said, you know, normal eyes don't see that. The normal mind will not think that. We just see these players, we think that it's all peaches and cream. But then when we hear that they fail because they, you know, they're broke, it's like, how come? But as you say, what you're doing is so important. As we close, Sandra, what is it that you would tell a single mom who is there, um, you know, getting ready to you know, they're pushing their son, knowing that they're getting ready to go to the NFL. What's one advice that you would give them financially? Financially, I tell them if they have a job, keep your day job. And uh, your son cannot support you. You need your insurance. And so a lot of times, you know, the, the son, he's, be, he's being very generous and very good. Mom, I want to retire you. Well, just hold on just a second and see what retirement would mean for your mom. Your mom is in her 50s, and we have some moms now, they're in their early 40s. That's another, you know, they can live to 100. Are you going to be able to sustain them until that point? So keep your day job, 
Uh, you be the, the voice of reason. Everyone around you is going to be excited and clamoring. You be that voice of reason and you be that anchor that he's going to need because all the decisions that he's going to make in the next couple months before the draft is going to be life changing. Your life will change overnight. His life will change overnight, but you always have to be the mom. You're not their friend. You're, you're there to give them the advice, the God given advice that God only gives us for our children. And I tell single moms, keep your position. You are the mother, be the mother. Thank you so much, Sandra. It was so good to have you on the Mitri show today. This was just valuable information that we definitely need to get to our viewers. Again, thank you, Sandra. It's good to have you. We'll keep in touch. In closing, be reminded the aggressive person fights. The passive one runs away, but the assertive person stands ground. My suggestion in times of crisis is to assess the situation, adapt, and act with purpose and passion. As cliche as this may sound, everything is in perfect order and things will definitely get better. Have a marvelous one. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Mitri Show. I am Dr. Michelle E., your host for the moment.